Recently, I saw a very video on Chinese Weibo. The protagonist of the video is China's Yun-20 large military transport aircraft. This time, the most interesting thing is the long-awaited turbofan 20 engine, for the engine pylons are all stubby and cute, and finally bid farewell to the Russian slender D-30. It is of great significance to the Chinese aero engine industry. This is the first time that China has conquered high thrust and large bypass ratio vortex. Fan engines, this engine will be widely used in large aircraft, including military transport aircraft, military anti-submarine aircraft, and civilian transport aircraft, and also used in the replacement of large bombers, such as the Chinese H-6 series aircraft. Once upon a time, the Russian D-30 engine became the core of the Chinese Air Force's procurement. The engine was used in the modification of the Chinese H-6 series. This has been the case since the H-6K. At the same time, the D-30 engine is also used in China. The Yun-20 military transport aircraft has supported the development, test flight and mass production of the aircraft. Since then, we have begun to achieve freedom of large aircraft engines. The future development is unlimited. The more advanced CJ-1000A and CJ-2000A engines are also being developed in full swing. In China, China's aviation engine industry, which has been silent for more than half a century, is beginning to see signs of blowout. Compare up and down, the stubby one on the top is the turbofan 20 engine, and the slender one on the bottom is the D-30 engine. In terms of technology, the Russian D-30 engine is the first generation of the world's largest bypass ratio turbofan engine. The engine has a bypass ratio of only two. The research and development began in the 1960s and has been widely equipped with multiple models from the former Soviet Union Russia. Such as the IL-76 military transport aircraft, Tu-154 civilian transport aircraft, and even modified MiG-31 heavy interceptors, which can be regarded as the most widely used jet engine with large bypass ratio in Russia. In recent years, the world's largest bypass turbofan engine has entered the third generation, while China is still in the first generation stage. It is really helpless to use the mature Russian D-30 engine. Russia's second-generation turbofan engine PS-90 it was successfully developed in the 1990s with the help of Pratt & Whitney in the United States. Although it was sold to China, it was rejected. The main reason was that, although the aircraft's performance indicators were advanced, the reliability was not good, and it was used on Russian aircraft. There are too few types and numbers, and the overall flight time is too small to prove its reliability and safety. Just like the Taehang engine is the core of China's advanced fighter jets, the J-10 and J-11 fighters are inseparable, and the J-20 fighter jets are also the same in the short term. The turbofan 20 engine is also a derivative of the Taehang engine. It adopts the core engine of Taehang engine and reconfigures the low pressure section, including large scale fans, new turbines and nozzles and other systems. It is generally equivalent to the mid to late version of the CFM-56 engine of the American GE company, with a thrust of 13 to 16 tons. This is also the most commonly used interval for large international aircraft. The technical level of the turbofan 20 engine is equivalent to the second-generation civil turbofan engine in the world. Its technology source has a deep relationship with the CFM-56 engine of the American GE company. The research and development took 10 years, and many friends do not understand it. The thrust is not a big engine, why it took so long. For the turbofan 20 model, you can see a circular damping flange in the middle of the large fan, which is one of the typical signs of the second generation. Everyone knows that fighter jet engines are not the same as civil aviation engines. Although turbofan 20 engines are used in Yun-20 military transport aircraft, they are essentially not much different from civil engines. Fighter engines pursue high performance, such as greater thrust. Larger thrust to weight ratio and faster thrust response characteristics, while civil aviation engines mainly pursue fuel economy and higher liability, so they are not outstanding in terms of indicators. At present, the thrust to weight ratio of fighter jet engines has reached level 12, and most of turbofan engines are still in use. This is clearly evidenced by the rotation of the range of 5. 
the fuel-efficient and higher liability requirements of civil aviation engines have high requirements for design and manufacturing. The life of a normal fighter jet engine is only about 3,000 hours, but the life of civil aviation engines has reached tens of thousands of hours. This is a very difficult task. After more than half a century of hard work, the Russian Aero engines announced that the old D-30 engine life has reached 20,000 flight hours, synchronized with the aircraft body or even exceeded. The Chinese R&D team conducted research from another angle and developed this new engine. The design of the engine is quite simple. There are only three parts in total, and the whole engine there is no movable part above. This engine also solves a problem well, that is, the fuel will not stop during the combustion process, which means that even if the engine generates explosion waves during use, it will not cause the engine to stall, which saves costs to a certain extent. Both flight speed and cost can be better guaranteed. This engine can be used at a very low cost, which is very important for promotion. According to ChinaShaokang.com, an engine developed in China is called a standing oblique explosion. The successful research and development of this engine is of great significance to China. It will greatly promote the development of China's aerospace industry in the future. The fastest engine speed can reach Mach 16, which is a very fast engine. Fast engine. It is reported that this Chinese aircraft engine the success of the research and development is mainly attributed to the academician Jiang Zonglin of the Chinese Academy of Sciences and his team. They have successfully completed the wind tunnel experiment, and the fastest flight speed can reach 5.44 km per second. For now, the emergence of the turbofan 20 engine has enabled China to obtain the second generation of technology, which is still a whole generation away from the world's advanced level. This is mainly manifested in the bypass ratio index of the turbofan 20 engine at around 5. The engine's index has reached 8 to 10, and it is more fuel efficient and advanced, including design and manufacturing technology and materials. Although the turbofan 20 is not considered to be the world's advanced level, it is the first time that the Chinese have obtained a large turbofan engine designed and manufactured completely independently. China's next step is to conquer the third-generation turbofan engine, which is the CJ-1000A engine.